Alright guys, this is the technology video. The technology tree in Twilight Imperium is fairly crazy, and I will show you. I'll lay this out here, I'll give you guys a peek. So, the dependency tree is quite crazy, actually. And even though there's four, uh, basically, technology colors that uh, define categories of technologies, there, there's no real clear flow as to how they're all linked. It's, it's just kind of a jambalaya or shampoo of technologies. And, and there is this, but unfortunately they didn't do prints of... Uh, or cheat sheets for them, which is really kind of actually surprising considering there's cheat sheets for everything else. Uh, but that's okay. There's been enough fans that have uh, posted some that will that will print out and, and give to everybody. So the technologies themselves, we got the four colors. We got yellow, which are your general technologies. There are actually a lot of them are focused on production. Um, then you have your red technologies, which obviously are your combat or your aggressive technologies. You have your blue, which are your transport technologies. And then you have your green, which are like your biotech technologies. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of each one of them, but uh, a lot of these like uh, integrated economy is, has to do with your space docks. Um, uh, this is a for PDFs, transit diodes, uh, more production, uh, defense, microtechnology, Sarween tools, enviro compensator. Both of these are production oriented. Microtechnology is uh, you get additional trade goods, so that one's trade related. Um, all races start off with their with their own technologies as well, which I'll, I'll go into those in a bit. And everybody has their own deck. These cards right here are just one deck. Actually, each player will get their own, and they correspond to the fleet colors. So, uh, War Sun, you need this to build, and the Gashly are the only species that start with it. Uh, defense turrets, the Assault Cannon, the Hylar 5 Assault Laser, which is your plus one die roll to cruisers and destroyers. Like I said, a lot of races start with that one. And there's the Hylar name showing back up from the fiction. Uh, the Deep Space Cannon for the PDS shooting at adjacent systems. Uh, the Magin Defense Grid. All of your PDS units now uh, receive plus one on all combat rolls. Uh, the Graviton Negator, which was uh, allowed the fighters to strafe around the planet and the Dreadnoughts to bombard PDS systems. So, um, a lot of good, really good techs. Um, some of your necessary ones are, are actually more so the movement ones, like advanced fighters you can live without, uh, maneuvering jets, eh. anti-mass deflector is good if you're next to asteroid fields or you need to shortcut it. XRD transport, probably the most important uh, technology card is giving your carriers plus one movement. You, you almost certainly want this card. It's you need it for the expansion aspect of the game. Um, uh, sh this one allows you to move through systems that contain enemy ships without having to activate them or initiate combat. Um, plus one movement. Uh, and then fleet logistics. When taking a tactical action, you may now take two tactical actions, one after the other, before your turn ends. So. That that can be very scary if you're if you're for somebody that you're pushing on. Uh, and the last one, the green, the biotechs, um, the hypermetabolism. Uh, during each status phase, you gain one additional command counter, which that's actually pretty nice if you uh, if you're keen on uh, managing your resources really finely. Uh, stasis capsule allow your cruisers and dreadnoughts to carry ground uh, ground force unit. That's actually r fairly nice because a lot of times you just want to you just need to land a troop on a planet to claim it. So that's a good technique to get early on, um, and it's an easy fairly easy one to get. It just requires enviro compensator, um, and, and all of the tech cards list the requirements at the top. The tree is not really obvious, but at least they mention the. Uh, you can trace uh, from the leaves back to the root. 
uh, cybernetics. Uh, this is uh, your fighters receive plus one on combat rolls. Uh, gen synthesis, neural motivator, and all, like all of these are just. Um, uh, I've kind of gone over in the previous video, but uh, so that's that's the the general tech, and a lot of them apply to your units, and some some apply to your actions. Um, they are also let's see if I got them handy here. No, I think they're in the other box. Okay, real quick. Here we go. Ah, all right, the race technologies. Now I'll go over these with the individual uh, races, but each race has their own technology that differentiates them that they only they can buy. Now, they still have to buy it, but once, which is different than the other ones, which you have to use the technology card plus resources and, and command counters to buy. These just require resources, and you can buy at any time as an action. Um, but all of them are, are very different, and the second expansion actually adds an additional uh, race technology, uh, which further differentiates the races. So really looking forward to that. And that's the end of the. That's basically it for the technologies.